Hello, my name is Christine and I run a vintage shop called Prima Treasures on Etsy. Today I wanted to show this bar wall cabinet. It's a pretty sizable piece, so as far as our store is concerned, this would be one of the higher end items that we would sell. And I got lucky because I was able to find an old catalog from 1956 that actually had this bar in it. So as a result, thanks to the copy that they wrote for the catalog, I know some details about this that are not super obvious from just looking at it. Um, it does have a lock on the front if you wanted to lock it, and it would have come with a little padlock, but most of the time when I find these, they don't have that. But in the, in the catalog, it said that it has these um, brass hoops. So, you know, you've got real metal here. It's got wall hanging loops across the back. You can probably barely see right there, but there's a wall hanging loop. There's also a big handle here, which it's not fully cut off by the video, but so I don't know, maybe you'd want to carry it around? Probably not. Um, but in the copy, it said that it had a walnut finish, which I could believe, and it's actually using piano hinges, which I think is kind of interesting. and. Certainly you would assume heavy duty. So they called this a keg bar, which, you know, pretty obvious from the styling on the front. The back is just more of a regular rectangular shaped wall cabinet. But let me open it for you so you can see how it looks on the inside. This one is a little wobbly. So we'll try not to get too carried away. But I do want you to be actually be able to see what we've got going on in here. I'm gonna move. Now, sometimes when you see these, they will not have the glassware. And that's not unusual because I assume when people use them, that they take the glasses out, they wash them or whatever. Sometimes they probably don't make it back. So it, I have sold them with no glass whatsoever. Um, in this particular case, this one did come with most of the glassware, which is probably more often what you'll see if you see a bar cabinet like this, some of the glassware will be in there and some will be missing. And, you know, we kind of know that because I'm trying to get one of each shape and I failed. So I've got three different sizes of glass here that came with this particular one. But you can see up here, there's small holes that probably had shot glasses in them. And I'm going to plop. So that one would have gone there. And I guess the taller ones, sure, they, no, yeah. Then the taller ones would have been in the middle here. And I think these little whiskey glasses probably went like that. And then you've got this nice little um, ring there, which uh, I'm going to post a photo of the add at the end of the video, this is where they put the bottle. So you've got a bottle here and you've got room behind it for probably three or four other bottles depending on how big they are. So you could put your liquor here and then you'd have some uh, small whiskey glasses here, some shot glasses on the top row, then these what I would consider like a, a mini highball. They're not, they're a little shorter than a full-size highball but you know in the interest of fitting them in the cabinet. Let's call it a highball. And then these smaller guys, I'm not even sure what they would have called those because uh, it did list the glassware in there, but not in that much detail. So this would have been fully tricked out with glassware when you bought it in the 50s. But a lot of times when we get them, pieces are missing. Uh, sometimes I will fill them in, like if there's an odd number of shot glasses and I have something I can, you know, kind of closely match, I'll put stuff like that in there. But if not, I'll leave it out because uh, as far as I'm concerned, if you get a partially full bar cabinet like this, it's kind of an opportunity for you to mix in your own more interesting barware because you can see they do have a nice little um, gold trim here with just kind of uh, pinstripe lines. But if you had something more exotic, you could certainly put it in here as well and make it look a little bit more upscale or, you know, 
just basically use it as a storage cabinet for whatever you do have. So anyway, um, these, to me, they look like more of a 70s item because in the 70s is when you had more of this rustic decor. But since I found it in a catalog for the 50s, obviously they were making it then too. They probably did continue to make it for a decade or two. So anytime you have a date for a vintage item, you know, it's safe to assume that it, they would have sold it for at least one or two decades before that item became discontinued. So in this scenario, I would definitely consider this a mid-century 50s to 70s type of uh, set. Anyway, um, I didn't specify before, but you can wall mount this because it does have the two hooks on the back. They're not super sturdy to my mind, so I would probably amp that up a bit if I were going to hang on the wall because once you get all the glassware in there, and hopefully you can see, I have a tray over here. This bar cabinet came with about 15, 20 pieces of glass. It didn't come with the shot glasses, so there's no shot glasses with it, but it came with, um, I think I've got three whiskey glasses. I've got three of these little guys, and I think I've got six of these. So I've got all of this middle row but only three of this section here. Either way, once you put all of that in here, you're talking it's gonna weigh 20 pounds, maybe as much as 30 pounds by the time you add liquor bottles to the back. So that's a lot of weight. And to rely on two little teeny, I mean, I'm probably being generous about the size <laughs> of the loops on the back. Um, that would not be super secure to my mind. So I would be inclined to try and add a more heavy duty mounting um, device of some kind to the back. But anyway, this, as far as I'm concerned, has a really cool look, especially if you're into rustic. I think this is gonna be a very nice statement piece for that kind of person, especially if you have like a, a bar area in your house or a whole room and you have the space to put in a wall cabinet like this, um, this is definitely the kind of thing that I think that you would pick up for a partner, your husband, whoever um, it is. You probably, they're gonna run you 100 to $200, depending on how much glass is in there. Uh, possibly a little more if somehow it had all the glass, someone would probably charge a premium for that. But still, it's not the kind of gift that you would give to a casual friend or whatever. It's definitely a bit of investment and something that you'd probably pay for someone that you're close to. So anyway, I have seen these in the occasional estate sale. So every once in a while, you will run into one locally. If you did see one and it was less than $100, I would take it and run. <laughs> so anyway, I, I hope that showing you this gives you an idea of the kinds of things you can find out there in the vintage world. Um, and I hope you've learned something. I will post that catalog image at the end of the video, and I appreciate you watching. Thank you.